you know what Sculptress is from my uh, other video I did a few months ago. You know what Sculptress is, basically. It is just a basic tutorial teaching you all the objects and what they do. I mean, all the tools and what they do. So, you know, if you're extremely new, you would want to know this. I mean, oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to open that. I really didn't. Oh, crap. Okay, 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 then. Oh, you. Alright. So, for all you new goers, um, so, draw, increase, or to decorate. Just want to get that laid down. Draw, increase, or decorate. If you want to make a whole solid mesh, you'd want to use inflate and grab a lot if you're making the base of everything. Let me demonstrate uh, the base. Like, so you're doing that. Um, take inflate. Take it up. Take, take, ah, oh, shizzle. Cam studio it may slow it down just a bit. Just only a tiny little slip of a bit. Not to worry. And if you, well, here's my style. When I make a full body mesh, I usually start from, I would usually start from, uh, just about, um, like, making the torso, then the arms, then the head, and then the, uh, on here, then, uh, then the, legs and you know then you know after that I go in blender and make the hands and feet you know basically I just make the hands and feet and blender and I somehow connect them together um, at that point I usually just wing it but we're just making a head a simple head now see how draw can be used to make proper eye sockets um increase very delicate tool that can be used uh, since cam studio is out so you control z to undo just press control and z together control c for this we'll have to run it through slow or you know turn that up just run it through as slow as possible with cam studio only so we just drawing through up oh, there there oops cross through a bit. Yeah. If I'm actually working on something I'd have to do a time lapse video. A slight time lapse would be in it and I wouldn't have no audio. Just have to follow me along. Sorry. But I'll put some more tutorials on with this soon because there have been many actual good tutorials on it. Uh, that's not what I want to do. You could even add add objects, a new spear, just to make your eyes go to scale. Make sure global is checked. You always want to make sure this is checked. Yeah, see how that goes. Next, we can just click right back on our mesh. The one selected is the one that's white. Uh, yeah. Oh, white grayish. That's the one that's checked. And also, you're wondering what clay does? Check it. Find out. It does a more flatter drawing. See? See what I mean? It does a flat drawing right there. A flat drawing. And, you know, you see what I'm doing here? Yeah. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm just making an example. Just making an example. Um, that's all. Uh, just making an example. Yeah. Of a mesh. You know. Like I said, that's just my, my only style is to start from torso and then create the rest but if 
you find it better to start from head down, then that's great. There's nothing wrong with that. I've seen people be able to do it, which the video was deleted from YouTube. That was a person who actually did that method, and it worked great for him. I mean, his character came out in great detail and everything, you know. I guess, you know, just play around with it. Uh, right now, I'm just winging it. And usually, that's what I do. I just start with nothing, and then ideas just pop into my head. And so, uh, and now we have, oh, the most important part of the mouse. Our characters don't have a mouse, and just, oh wait, I'll show you how to improvise with characters with no mouths. Here's how you, here's how you work that. You just, just make a line right here. Almost like if you were making a smiley face on the picture. And to make sure that looks, well not like crap, we want to use inflate. To kind of inflate some detail here. On the lips. And see how that works out. And just do the same thing for the bottom lip. And you got yourself some perfectly made lips there for your character. You see how this uh, really helps? And people have exported it to Blender, made animations with it. it. It's really great. The only thing is it counts in triangles. And and here's and well, I, well that's more advanced. So I'm not going to tell you that. Okay, in my next tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to hide, which can help the hide option. Should I do it on this one? Is that too advanced? We might have to learn it. You already learned how to make new objects. But here's what you do. Here's how you hide. Okay, hold on to H. Press H and hold on to it. Now drag it until you see this box. See? Whatever the box selects, it does that. And what that does is it makes uh, it makes the program run faster because the more triangles you get, the slower this will run. So by using the hide option, it makes it run faster. And just press Control H to make it reappear. So usually. After I'm done creating the arms, you know, I create torso, then arms, uh, then head. After that, I hide the head, and then I make the legs. You see, and you make everything reappear when you paint it, which painting is advanced. We'll be doing that probably on the third to fourth tutorial. I want to make a good set of them if I can. As many as possible. Because there haven't been many tutorials on sculptures, just them creating uh, with silence. So, so I just want to give you the basic tutorials. And remember, play around because you don't want to try to be copying people's stuff. Don't try to, you know, like use image references and trick it out. You know, like, like take an image and try to copy it a bit but trick it out in your own modifications, you know.